Hello and welcome back to the Austrian State Challenges. This episode we're going to be doing Vienna. Now, quickly show you Vienna on the map, you probably know where it is. It includes all of this. And technically, if you know the districts of Vienna, it's extremely easy. Probably one of the easiest towns or well, cities said towns so many times throughout these episodes that I just can't say cities anymore. One of the cities that's the easiest to pinpoint in. Because it's split up into 21 districts. Now, those might be a bit overwhelming at a glance. But they're actually pretty well ordered in the sense that you start with one in the middle. And then you go around clockwise to nine. All the way around to one. Then you diverge a bit from that. You've got a 10 down here, 11 over here, and then you start with the 12 and go clockwise again. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23 is down here. Who knows? But that's how it is. Now, we'll see straight away, uh, if I find the challenges tab, why this is so important. We'll go to full screen again. I'm not forgetting this anymore. And we'll start the game. Okay. We'll not see it right away. But we'll see it rather soon. There we go. Every, and I mean every, street sign or road sign. What are they? I, just, I still don't really know the difference. Let's, let's call them road signs. Has the number of the district on it. So as you can see, this is in the 23rd district. I now remember that the 23rd district is down here somewhere. I don't fully remember which district it is because every district in Vienna also has a name, obviously. You can also remember them. Then you'll see, uh, like, for example, uh, the first district of Vienna is called Innere Stadt. Uh, the second, I, I don't know any of the numbers, to be honest. But I'm going to assume the 23rd, considering it is all the way down here. It's called Leasing. And we've got the Lastenstraße. So you could just technically go and look for that. I think this is a, yeah, it's, it's railroad. And they're going sort of north east. So it could be these ones. Technically. Uh, but it doesn't look like it. Maybe it's over here. Uh, it also doesn't look like it. Oh, it, it does look like it. Never mind. There it is. So that's how you can easily find where you are in Vienna. Obviously, that does require you. Uh, let me just quickly find this side road, this one here. That does require you to know where the districts of Vienna are. But I think, like... Okay, it might not be worth it to just study all the districts of Vienna straight away. Just in case you'll ever get placed there on a world map. But if there you're ever in sort of a competition, there's a really loud car going uh, in front of a window. If you're ever in a competition that's got an Austria-focused map or even a Vienna-focused map, you should definitely learn them for that. Mm, we'll probably get uh, better examples of what the inner city of Vienna is like. I mean, I don't think there's any point in really showing you around this area of Vienna. It's a rather rural place. Can, we can explore a bit. We've got two minutes. We can see uh, it it's, doesn't really look too different from a smaller uh, town. I mean, it gets a bit more city-like here. Especially with these sorts of buildings, you wouldn't really see them in smaller towns, I don't think. And then you get to places where it really does look like it could be Vienna. And yep, yeah, you see leasing here. And Centrum just means center. And 13A is here. Alright. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much every important thing about this round I think you'll find lots of <laughs> that's that's an interesting building uh, 
yeah, you'll you'll find lots of signs that tell you where you are in Vienna usually. So that it shouldn't really be a problem. I'm just quickly trying to to look for a sign that actually tells you you are in Vienna. Because I don't think I've seen one of those yet. I mean, wait a second. Uh, where was that? This usually is a very Viennese sign because it has the, the flag of Vienna on top of it. It doesn't really tell you much in terms of where you are in Vienna, but if you see one of these bus stop signs, that's Vienna. All right, let's guess. And let's see. We're again somewhere on the outskirts of Vienna. This time it says right here. Also, Vienna's got quite a lot of different postcodes, so you could probably tell where you are based on these as well. This might mean that we're in the 22nd district of Vienna, in which case we are somewhere over here, I think. Uh, yeah. Well, just quickly see if we can find a bit more. Yep, yeah, we are in the 22nd district. Burgmeiergasse. Mm. This, that might be Donaustadt, that district, but that is a rather big district. So I don't think it's too easy to... It also might be over here. I don't think it's too easy to figure out, or not figure out, but find out where those streets are located. And it's it can be very rural around here. So it might even be further outside here still like all the way out here what do these say neu essling maybe i can oh well yes i can find that 2.6 kilometers up here maybe we're here actually in this sort of area uh what do the others say Lober? Well, let, let me just have a look at what the street name is. Wolfgang Mehl Wanger Straße. Uh, is that this street? No, it's not. Mühlwanger, it actually says. Okay. So, where was that? That Burgmeiergasse. There we are. So again, you can see how it's really important to know which district is where. At least it, you don't have to know, is this the 22nd? Is this the 22nd? Is it maybe here somewhere or is it here? That's not so important. Just know the general area. Like if you know one starts here, then it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then it's, uh, I don't even remember anymore. I think it's 10, 11, then 12, 13, 14, all the way to 22 over here and then 23 down here. Down here, I mean. So if you know that, you can sort of tell where you are. And that helps out a great deal because Vienna is quite big. And if you're just looking for road names, you'll probably not find what you're looking for. Uh, what is that? That's a bit hidden. All right. It's not over there either. So we'll just have to guess which, yeah, Memlingasse, that would sort of fit. Yes, that is it. Uh, okay, and we're slightly further south than that even. Uh, slightly above this, aren't we? That goes towards the east. What do we have here towards the west? Nothing really. What do we have? There's nothing else that goes to west, so we have to be here. Yeah, let's go for that. <laughs> the dog apparently isn't too happy to see the street view car. Also something I haven't mentioned before, because they usually blurred, blurred out anyway, but the, uh, the number plates of cars have the flag of their state on it. So if you ever see an umbro number car uh, number plate, uh, you can tell which state you're in based on their flag, if you remember them. 
that's also one of the reasons why I put the, the state's flags on the thumbnails. Yeah, we were there. Nice. Okay. <laughs> why are we always so far out? I just want a central location, please. We're back in leasing. <laughs> All right. Uh, Adamovic Gasse. Uh, this one. Richard Strauss Straße. Famous musician. Uh, where can we find that? Probably. It's one of the bigger streets. Do these have a name? Brunner Straße. Mm. It's sort of like this. But that's a different street. That's not in Vienna anymore down here. Uh, close, but not quite. What about up here? No. Uh, still not. So, it, it like, even knowing which district you're in, it can still be quite hard to find the correct road. So, I think we're just going to leave it for now. We're going to look where we can find something better. There was there was an ad for the zoo there, wasn't it? Let me have a look at that. Uh, it actually doesn't tell you how far away you are from the zoo. That's a shame. Uh, Austria V. Huh. Miele Experience Center. Mm, I don't know where any of those are really. Can I maybe find XXX Lutz Zentrallager? That could be something that shows up at a decent zoom level. Uh, I'm kind of tunnel visioned in on this area here now. I don't actually know how far the 23rd district extends. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that was easier than I thought it would be. Uh, all right, there's the Adamovich Gasse. Is that where we, we were on the other side of that, weren't we? We're here. Uh, all the way towards the end of it, here. So that is actually just a highway up there. For a second there, at the start, I thought it might be train tracks again. But no, that sign should have been, should have been obvious. There's a couple of newspapers here. Kronenzeit und Kurier, both famous Austrian newspapers. And yeah, I think that's about it. I'd really like to go or get a central location in Vienna now because we've seen the southern part of it. We've seen the northeastern part of it. A central location would be great. And nice. That's at least more of a central location than the other three we've had so far. Which district are we in? Fourth district. So if that's one, this is two, three, four, somewhere around here probably. Something that also can be quite useful in Vienna is to look for subway stations. I don't know if we'll find any right now. But that's generally what I like to do. I mean, I might be biased in that because I know the subway network in Vienna. So I know where they are, roughly. Uh, Argentina Straße, interesting. Okay, we've got a relatively big church there. Belvedere Stra Belvedere Gasse. Mm. Still not quite sure. I mean, it could be this or it could be this. Uh, it could even be down here somewhere. The first district covers exactly this part here. You know what? I'm going to do exactly what I've, I said I'd do. Search for a subway station. I've got the third district right here, so we're close to that. Maybe we're somewhere around here. Um, 
Which street is that? So it's right here. Prince Eugenstrasse. I feel like I've seen that before while looking through here. But I don't remember where. That's the second, I'm pretty sure. So this should be the third district. So that street should be somewhere in this district. That's going towards Nussdorf. Isn't that up here somewhere? Well, obviously it's it's a tram. It can go quite a far distance. It makes sense. Uh, oh, there's... This looks a lot better. That's a subway station. Madling. Uh, that's... Where exactly is that? Uh, down here somewhere, I think. I mean, there was a sign for the main train station over there somewhere. There's Madling. Okay. So we were actually much further south than I thought we would be. Or is that just towards Madling? It's towards meddling. That makes more sense. Then it should tell me where we are, not just where we're going. Okay. I can't seem to find it. Hmm. I'm not too familiar with this area of Vienna. Uh, come on. Don't block my view. There's a museum there. Belvedere. Uh, is that somewhere up here, maybe? I'm not great at Vienna, let's be honest. <laughs> I didn't exactly travel around Vienna a lot while studying here. And I don't think I can find out where we are in the next 45 minutes, uh, 45 seconds. If I had 45 minutes, sure, I could find out where we are. There's the 221 here. Where is that? This over here. Uh, so we might be in this district, actually. Let me go find a street sign again. Route sign Wurlebengasse. Maybe I can find it somewhere here quickly. Uh, it doesn't look like I can. Four seconds. Uh, no. We were that far over there. Interesting. The 221. It is down here as well, to be fair. Yeah, there's the Belvedere. Okay. Yep. Had I seen that, that would have made it a lot easier. Okay, never mind, never mind central Vienna. Give me outskirts locations again. No, but that was quite good to show you that even if you know roughly where the districts are, it's still not free. <laughs> I mean, yes, I did ask for outskirts, but I meant somewhere we haven't been before. Ludwig Reindelgasse. We're in the 22nd district again. Uh, now, how do I find out exactly where we are? Good question. Uh, Deutsch Wagram. That is up there somewhere, I want to say. I don't know exactly where it is. Uh, okay, what do we have here? Sun chemical. It's not going to help me. Which street is this one? This might be big enough to be worth looking for. Breitenleerstraße. That is surely a street we can find. What about this? No. Uh, 
Breiten, der Straße, there we go. What's the other road? Uh, Zwerch, what does it say? Zwerchhekkerweg. Okay, that street is quite long. So, well, it's not that long, to be honest. Never mind. All right, let's quickly find the street we're looking for. Could it be that far over here? No, it couldn't. Uh, I can't find it. I found it. All right, we're west of here. What was this street called? Something with an R, wasn't it? Well, sort of Ludwig Rendelgasse. This one here, right? Yeah. And we sort of here. So yeah, we had five locations in Vienna. Two of them down here, two of them up here, and one in the center. So it wasn't a great representation of what Vienna looks like. But it was sort of a start. And you can also clearly tell, like, if I hadn't known that the 22nd district was up here and the 23rd down here, I probably wouldn't have found all of these locations. I mean, I f would have found the respective second of the uh, of the two locations for each of them. But the first one, not so sure. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.